Okay. So, buku teks lah. Take out your buku teks. Hari tu kita bincang sampai 5.1134. Okay. Buka surat 134. Buka surat 134. Buka surah Okay. One, three, four. Yeah, just in a One, two, three, four. Uh, enam orang sudah masuk. Ada empat lagi ya. Ada empat lagi. Belum masuk lagi. Okay, for last week, ada soalan tak? Okay. Kalau ada soalan, bagi tahu saya. Uh, soal tujuh orang. I think I can start already lah. Okay. So, last week, we go for the graph theory. Graph theory, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can start now, eh? alright? Yeah, right. So, class. Okay, I think I need to look at the camera. So last week, ah, kita bincang tentang ini, ini graph theory. Okay. So graph theory, yang basically dia ada benda yang macam ni, you can focus, alright. Basically dia ada <coughs> degree atau kita panggil tajam. Okay, daja graf itu. So contohnya, mula tadi dulu lah. Contoh ini A, go to B, go to C. Berapa kan daja untuk C? Okay, mula kaji dulu lah. Siapa yang tahu tak? Last week mungkin saya lupa kan sama dia. So what is the degree or we call daja degree? So we call degree. Degree ya. Contohnya saya nak degree untuk A. Okay. Degree untuk A ialah kita lukiskan satu bulatan dekat A. Kita lukis satu bulatan. Tengok dia sentuh berapa kali. Satu, dua. So degree dekat A ialah dua. Okay. I think this one okay lah. Kalau degree dekat C atau kita panggil daja, daja D saya buat daja, D, daja dekat C tiga. Tak ada masalah, okay? So degree dekat B 
Lukis satu bulatan, dua. So jumlah kan? Kita panggil ini sigma. Sigma untuk degree ialah, okay? Dalam buku teks kamu, sigma untuk degree ialah dua kali dengan h, dua kali dengan tepi. Tepi ada berapa tepi di sini? Berapa tepi? Okay, tepi ya, tepi ini satu tepi. Kalau kita nak kira kan tepi, saya ada minta you highlight. Okay, okay. Tepi dia, ini satu, dua, tiga, empat. Empat tepi. Okay. One, two, three, four. So, bermaknanya di sini, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 kali dengan 4, berapa 8. Okay. So, 2 dalam 4, berapa 8. Okay. So, hari ini saya nak ajar ialah graf yang kita teratur. So, uh, 5.1a, 5.1a semua sudah siap tak? 5.1a ini. Kalau sudah siap bagi tahu, then beritahu saya ada apa soalan. 5.1A 4A, ok? Kita bincang hari itu kita sudah pasang 4A dah 4A, 4B 4A, 4B, 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 4B
Okay, we look at the question. Huh? You, kalau, last week saya sudah bincang minyak, okay? I will bincang, I bincang one more time lah. So let you know first, okay? What first 15 minutes I bincang first? 1515, okay? Kalau you tengok 1515, 3535, okay? This one we call multiple age. Okay, multiple age. Atau kita panggil berbilang tepi. Ini kita panggil berbilang tepi. What we call multiple age sebab dia akan sambung dengan dua nombor yang sama. 1515, 3535. Okay, 1515 dengan 3535. So, apa yang kita buat di sini ialah 1515, kita buat ini ialah 1, ini ialah 5. 1, 5, 1, 5. Ini 1, ini 5. 1, 5, 1, 5. Okay, 1, 5, Lepas tu, 3, 5, 3, 5 pun sama. Pun benda yang sama juga. 3, 5, 3, 5. Connection lah, macam 1.5 ialah 1 connect kepada 5 1 call kepada 5, so 2 kali 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5 1, 1 1, 1 ini bermakna apa? This one we call gelung or we call loops 1, 1 here is we call loops lah L-O-O-P Or we call gelung Bila dia gelung je lah, dia putar di sendiri saja Okay, one round is at this side, okay Lepas tu tiga tiga, gelung juga. Dua satu, dua satu. So dua saya letak sini lah, dua kepada satu. Okay, dua satu, dua tiga. Oh dua tiga. So kalau dua tiga ini saya akan padam sebab dia jauh. Dia, ini macam tak jadi masuk so, saya buat macam ni. Dua satu, dua tiga, dua satu, dua tiga. 25. Apa dah 25? Saya connect juga 25. 21 23 25. 4 1 4 3 dan 4 5. So 4 saya letak sini 4. 4 1 4 3 4 5. Okey, ini last week punya. So you clear ah this one. Okey. Gambar gambar saya tak halang itu gambar. Question number five. Question number five, okay? Okay, no? okay. Uh. Ulang kaji sudah. So, kalau nombor yang sama, example, uh. so what I want to ulang kaji with you is, kalau nombor sama, dia ialah gelung. Loop. Macam one one. Three three. Satu loop. Dia sendiri pergi ke sendiri. Sendiri pergi ke sini. We call loop. Berbilang tepi, bermaknanya dua line join kepada satu lima, satu lima. Bermaknanya dia ada banyak tepi. Dua tepi. Two. One five, one five. One five. Right. Itu, itu benda yang saya nak ulang kaji saja. Kalau ini faham sudah okey. Soalan nombor lima. Soalan lima. Draw a simple graph with the given degree of vertex. Okay. Soalan lima ialah. Uh, soalan dia ialah. Lukiskan graph mudah untuk bilangan darjah yang diberikan. Ini ada K bar, okay? Lima A dan lima B, okay? I'll give you five more minutes. You do first. Okay, they want simple graph ah, simple graph ah, simple graph. Number lima yang 
ialah simple graph. Yang highlight the word simple graph ah, graph mudah. Graph mudah ialah apa? Graph mudah ialah tak ada gelung. No, tak ada no bang. Tak ada berbilang tepi. This two thing tak ada. No, tak ada. Tak ada. You kena guna garis dulu saja. So number five A. I show you here. Lima A. Soalan dia nak dua tiga dua tiga empat. Dia nak graf muda. Kalau ibu abang belum ngaku dah salah, okay? Ini ialah degree kerja dia. So bermaknanya dua tiga, okay? Dua ni lah kena contohnya. Ini poin ni lah A. Saya tulis dulu ini poin A, poin B, poin C, poin D, poin E. Biasa saya guna A B C D E. Okay, A B C. So poin E ada dua tempat, so saya pergi dua tempat. Poin B ada tiga tempat. Okay, we can continue right here. B one, two, three. Then connect to C. Okay, I connect to C here. Okay, one more time. A ada dua tempat. So, I keluarkan dulu. A ada dua. Sekejap, sekejap. Or you can do A, B, C, D, E first. I also can. A. B, C, D, E. Okay, you can do something like this first. Then how to do the first one is, A, you bought the bottom dual. This one and this one. Contohnya, A, kepada B dan E. So A punya sudah siap. Can you? You cancel the A. B ini ada pergi kepada B B ya. B ada pergi kepada tiga tempat. Ini sudah ada satu, dua, tiga sudah siap. Okay. C kena pergi dua tempat. C pergi dua tempat. So C saya pergi ke E dengan B. Okay. C punya sudah siap. So cancel C. D kena pergi tiga tempat. One, two, three. Okay. Can see ah D pergi tiga tempat. E pergi empat tempat. So E sudah ada. One, two, three, four. Ini jawapan. Okay. You sudah buat satu, you buat satu lagi. Okay. You do one, then you do another one. Then we check again ah. Check again. A ini ada pergi dua tempat tak? Okay. We check one more time. A ada pergi dua tempat tak? Ada one and two. B ada pergi tiga tempat tak? B one two three. Ada. C ada pergi dua tempat tak? Ada one and two. D ada pergi tiga tempat tak? One two three. E ada pergi empat tempat tak? One two three four ada. Okay, this is the way of doing. Boleh tak? Lukis lukis aja. Send the answer to me. Okay, send me your answer. I can mark for you. Kalau tak, you tak tahu betul. You can be different from me one lah. Class, you boleh lain lah. Mungkin you punya B di sini, B di sini, A di sini, C, E, tak tahu mana. Tapi, dia punya konsep sama. A kena join kepada dua tempat. A dua, sebab dia start dari dua, A kena join dua tempat. Itu ialah cara dia. Okay? Hope you all jelas, okay? Reply me in the group chat if you understand. Faham ke faham? Faham ke faham ini? <coughs> faham, okay, alright. Then <coughs> continue to do 5B, uh, 5B and then also number 6. Then I'll give you 5 minutes, 5 minutes, then we will go for the... Hmm. Just a breakdown maybe first. 
Okay. Ada satu teknik punya yang draw ini, okay? Ada got one teknik. Share screen first lah. Okay. Kelas, kalau bila you buat ini kan, <coughs> teknik yang you kena jaga, uh, we will work, we call one thing you need to jaga is, uh, kalau you sentiasa tak dapat kan, like this 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, huh? the question 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, huh? 2, 3, 2, 3, 4. Okay, just now, kisah saya buat A, B, C, D kan, kalau you perasan, saya tinggal satu benda saya nak bagi tahu, okay, one thing I need to if you to know, okay? As you know, kalau di sini, okay? Kalau di sini ya, bila you buat lah, you cuba tolak ke belakang. Contohnya lah ini A, B, C, D, E. You want to put where E also can, no problem, okay? So, apa maksudnya cuba tolak ke belakang? Dia punya teknik, bermaknanya kalau A ada dua, A, you nak join mana-mana pun boleh, tapi you tolak ke belakang, A, Okay, so let's see. Repeat one more time. Huh? B ini ada tiga. B, you tolak ke belakang. B, bermaknanya sambung ke belakang. Dia jangan sambung ke depan. Faham tak? Dia jangan sambung kepada A. Sebab kalau dia sambung kepada A, B ini sambung kepada A, dia, dia sudah sambung lah, okay? Uh, you cuba tolak ke belakang. Tiga ini, you join kepada C, D, okay? Go for E, go for C, okay? So ada tiga, satu, dua, tiga. Then bila pergi ke C ini, you join ke belakang, you join ke belakang. Ini sudah ada satu, so I go for the E. Biasanya kita akan join ke belakang lah. D punya, kita akan join kepada E. Okay, so you, you always go behind. You pergi ke belakang, you jangan pergi ke depan. This is the thing I want to let you know. <coughs> Anyway, anyway, we, we discuss the lima B ya, five B. Five B, satu dua, tiga 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 dua, satu dua, tiga 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 dua, okay? So you put A B C D E lah. Ini macam dua. A, B, C, D, E, F. Saya akan letak macam ni lah. Okay. So A kepada B. A to B. B ada dua. B sudah satu sini. So B satu lagi. Maybe I go F. Okay. Example. C ada tiga. C ada tiga. Bila C ada tiga, jangan pergi ke B. Okay? You don't go back to B. So, kalau you pergi balik kepada B, what happen is, B sudah jadi tiga. Korang nak? One, two, three. So, biasanya saya suruh kamu tolak ke belakang, you push behind. Tiga, you join kepada D, E, or whatever lah. Okay? 
So C, when I do C, I will push behind, push to the B, push to the up two, push to the B. B, B cannot, huh? because it's before it. Push to the E, push to the F. Yeah, you push behind. D, other figure. Satu, D punya belakang ialah E. E, dan satu lagi. <coughs> e, C, satu lagi, uh, E, C. Okay. One more time, huh? Sebab kalau saya pindah ke button F, F ada dua saja. F got two, so I cannot connect to F. So I need to change a bit. Just now the B to F, uh, I change a bit. Uh. I B don't go to F. I B go to D. B go to C. Uh. Sorry, B go to C. F cannot connect. Okay. I do one more time. Uh. A is one. Okay, this is one. B got two, one and two. B and C, okay? It needs to add the word two. C are the tiger. One, two, three. B are the tiger. One, two, one, two, three. Three, symbol, 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 uh, number E other tiger one two one two three one more wait uh, A to B B got two one two C got three one two three uh, this one cannot cannot connect Cannot connect to C got four already. One, two, three, four. Wait, I do again. But this one a bit confused, huh? One, two, three, four. One, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, 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 two. Okay. One more time, huh? A to B to C to D to E and to F. One more time, you try to push behind the same letter, okay? The same letter easier, okay? Uh, huruf yang sama, huruf yang belakang dia saja. Macam A, you go to B, one. B, go two times, dua, dua. B, ialah C dengan D. A, B, C, D. Okay? The, uh, do C and D. Oh, sorry, this one, only, because this one, one already, yeah? And two. C, I do three. One, C, or after C is D and E. Yeah. C, D, E. Okay? C, D, E. Three, okay? Which I have one, one line. B got two lines. E got three lines. C, D, V. Okay? C, D, V got three lines. D got three lines. One, two, Three. Okay. <coughs> D got three nine. One, two, three. Three nine. E also got three nine. One, two. Then you go to F. Complete idea because F no need to do anything because F got two nine. <coughs> okay. Miss, uh, you connect, uh, either you connect, uh, you try to push behind. Like A, uh, you cannot connect to B. You can't A to C. If uh. A to C, uh, you can't get it. Like what I bought you, uh, so B to so F. So sometimes you cannot get. You try to push behind. Uh. A, A have to connect to B, uh, B can have to connect to C, uh, C connect to D. I uh. uh, do like that. Okay? What I jump to? So you can check at the end, uh, you check the answer. Uh, A to B is 1, yes. Yeah. 1. B to D to other is 2, C got 3, 1, 2, 3, D got 3, 1, 2, 3, E got 3, 1, 2, 3, F got 2. So this is the answer. 
okay <laughs> okay let me know uh, got any question Okay, <laughs> 6A, yeah. 5B, got any question or not? You can do your own one, let me check. Yeah. Try number six, six A and six B. Six A and six B, ah. Six A, ya, kena lukis gelong dengan berbilang tepi. Kena lukis satu bulatan dan berbilang tepi. Class drawing, ah. This drawing class, ah, class. Okay. Please draw, okay. Macam three, three, four. You gonna make sure A are the three, B are the three, then C are the four. Then make sure gambar itu ada gelung dan berbilang tepi. Root and multiple edge, you might have these two. Gelung dan berbilang Okay? Sampai mana? Okay. Kau sana sudah habis tak? Minjin, Wengkang? Dua nak? Kiawin? 6A, 6B, ada buat tak? You kena buat baru you faham dia kenapa kadang-kadang saya nak padang-padang. You kena padang-padang juga supaya last kali ya, you dapat itu matching. Uh, try, uh, try, 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 try. 6A, I do, uh, okay, I do one more. 6A, 6A, I do one more, uh, okay. I feel like we need to do that. Okay, 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 I see. Number six, number six, ah. Uh. Number six, uh, three, three, four. Okay, three, three, four, ah. Uh. Okay, let's see, three, three, four. Three, three, four. <laughs> I, I get an uh, answer like this, ah. Uh. Not true. Uh, I don't mention the student name. Alright, yeah, I mentioned your name, ah. Uh. Wrong idea, they mentioned your name, ah. Uh. Okay. Three, three, four, ah. Uh. Three, three, four. Three, three, four, ah. Uh. The answer given by this student is like this. We can bincang, uh, give me your answer, then we can bincang also, uh, then we see correct or not. Okay, we can see correct or not. I received the WhatsApp, uh, so I see, I keep checking the WhatsApp, uh, so, that, so like that. Right? So, <coughs> we, oh, you want to see your answer correct or not? Actually, you see, uh, A got three parts or not? We see other data figure. Uh. You can draw uh, this one. One, two, three, four. Already four, you see? Already four, you know? Sabtu, dua, tiga, empat. Dia sudah sentuh empat lah. So this one cannot already, you know? B correct lah. B correct. Because B got three lah. One, two, three. One, two, three. B, B correct. C. C got how many? One, two, three, four, five. Dia nak empat lah. So ubah a bit. Okay? Siapa yang bagi jawapan ni? Try to change. Try to change lah. Change until you get this one three and this one is four. Okay? Siapa ada bagi jawapan, we can bincang. We bincang lah. What's that mean? What's that mean? Okay. Okay. I explain to you already lah. Okay. You try to change. Three, three, four. <coughs> Make sure ada berbilang tepi dan also the... Dia tak ta semestinya semua berbilang tepi. Okay. No need to do all berbilang tepi lah. Boleh gerali lurus juga boleh. Tapi make sure gambar keseluruhan ada berbilangan tepi dan gelung. Make sure got at least one loop and also one multiple edge. Ada lagi ya? Sudah saya bagi saya jawapan. You try ya, try ya, okay? If you already know idea, you can see behind answer, no problem, okay? You can, but you need to learn only. 
You need to understand the logic behind. Three, three, four. Ooh, that was a good one. Take it away. I think the acorn are the worst. I close the acorn. <coughs> three, three, four. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, this A, this B, this is C, okay? This A, this B, this is C, okay? So A, tiger. A, you have to look at what tiger line. A, are the tiger line. So A, are the tiger line. B are the tiga line, C ada empat line. So gerung itu saya akan buat di C ya. Kenapa? So C paling banyak sekali mah. C paling banyak sekali. So saya akan buat macam ni. So ini sudah ada dua loh, betul tak? So kalau gerung satu gerung ada dua darjah. One root bah, kita bukan root. L O O P, or we call the ah ah gerung. Satu gerung ada dua darjah, dua darjah. Kenapa? Sebab kalau saya lukis yang satu bulatan, dia sentuh dua kali, ada dua darjah. So ini saya kena lukis dua lagi, oh. dua lagi. So jadi tiga tiga dua saja. Tiga tiga dua. Dia boleh macam ni tiga. Dua sekejap ah tiga tiga dua. Ini satu. Okay, let's let's try ah, let's try ah. Kalau ini saya buat satu berbilang tepi. This one left one, left one. Ah boleh lah, boleh. Kita sambung ke sini, sambung ke sini. Okay, so itu gambar dia. This one just try ah, by trying ah, by trying I will I will do like this. Initially is a. I connect these two. So this one got four. Yeah, C C got four. C ada empat. One two three four. B A ada tiga. One two three. B pun ada tiga. One two three. Okay. So mana yang lah berbilang tapi A to B yang lah berbilang tapi yang semua A B A B. Berbilang tapi C yang lah loop. Okay, C yang lah bagelong. This is the answer for five. Ah, six A. Six B. Six B. Okay. Try for the six B, ah, class. Think up for one words, okay? Then I mark down here. We waste the bilang to be or this is multiple edge. Multiple edge here, or we call it as the what ah, berbilangan tepi. Berbilangan tepi means you connect the same same vertices, connect the same point ah, AB AB, berbilangan tepi. AC bukan berbilangan tepi ah, sebab A ke C satu jalan saja. Kalau ada dua jalan ke satu satu tempat kita panggil berbilangan tepi. B. Dua dua empat enam enam. Who got ready? What's that mean? Ah, what's that mean? Okay, I want to check your answer. Buku teks ah kalau kalau ini nak tahu ini saya ambil dari mana buku teks one three four page one three four give you some text okay we work out on number six b or number b.
Send me your answer, huh? if you're done already. I wait your answer, I wait your answer, eh? Thank you. Two, two, four, six, six. I give you more time. Lah. This one may be difficult a bit. Lah. Two, two, four, six, six. What to do? Lah? Two, two, four, six, six. Then some more Hanta Japan, okay? Kawina, Kawi, Kawina, okay, you, you all do already, uh, let me know uh, so I can know. Mazri, Maziana, Nairi, uh, Shamini, uh, some more gun. Uh, Shatista, Suena, Wenkang, uh, alright? Do already, let me know. Uh. Draw something, uh. don't know, then let me know, don't know, uh, okay? Tau bagi tau saya saja, then I explain slowly. Two, two, four, six, six. Huh. I get an answer. Two, two, four, six, six. I'm being chung your answer, ah. See, correct, ah. Okay. No worry, I won't mention your name, ah. If wrong, already, I won't mention your name, ah. If correct, already, I will mention your name, ah. <laughs> so good. Let's count. Uh. Give me the answer, that means I need to count first. Okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, don't know one, then never mind, right? Uh, we check this, your friend answer, okay? We check this, your friend answer. Uh. You message me already. Uh, where's my camera? Okay, this this answer. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. How 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 examiner check your answer? They don't have schema also. Uh. These are just bento yang tetap. As long as dia punya benda ada macam ni ya, uh, dia boleh bento. Two two four six six. So ini ya uh, A B C D E. Dari titik A dia keluar dua kali ya. Uh. Ini keluar dua kena dulu. Okay, so this one is correct. Uh. A correct. B two also correct. C is four. One two three four. Yeah, C correct. And D got six. Uh. D. This is your E, right? D got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you draw a button, you will touch six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. Then E also same. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. Okay. okay. So this one, student will give me this. Uh. Okay. Alrighty. Then I see other student answer. Got some more answer. Okay, so uh Minjun correct, okay? So another answer from this friend. Okay, you want to copy, you copy, huh? or, or you do your own now, you do your own. As long as you connect to six point, they are okay. Already. Okay, got another answer. Two, two, four, six, six. Ah, uh. okay, remember. I, I, I got another answer. We see, correct. Two, two, four, six, six. Okay, A, A, B, A, what do you A, B, C, D, E. Ah, uh. so these are your friend answer. Another one, uh, this one. Then the C, 
then the E, okay. So this one here, then this one group. So C. Okay, we check one by one. Huh? We check one by one. If you do already, you see how I check your answer. Then you know how teacher check your answer later. Okay. So that's a good. Same way with Japan. So A other dual ta. A other dual because if I draw a circle, it touch two point. If I draw a circle, it touch two point. If you draw a circle at the alphabet, it touch two. The point given that means correct. A correct. B correct. C one two three four correct. D one two three four five six. D correct. Okay, D correct. E yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Correct. Okay, correct. Give me the answer also, correct, huh? Kevin, Kevin, correct, okay? How you do also never mind one, okay? The story and uh, moral of the as long as you fulfill this one, uh, as long as you match this one. So this one also Kevin one also correct. Uh, then this uh in you also correct. As long as you get to this one, uh, okay. You can do your one, you're not sure, you just WhatsApp to me. Okay. <laughs> we go for the next thing. Kita bagi ke benda baru. Okay ah. Or you, or you want to give me your own answer also can. This is E ya. Ah. Ah, saya sudah halang. You punya vision. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, correct. This one, this student also correct. Okay. Okay, so we go for the. Can we go? Can we move on to the next one, or you want to try your own? Need you need some more time or not? Then I plug in my battery because I no battery is it or not? For my. Okay. Okay, screen first, then let you see my. Okay. Okay, you try, ah. Huh? So you go for the next part. <coughs> I try to go slow with it, ah. Huh? I try to go slow with it. If you think I'm fast, you let me know, okay? Okay, so we go for the next part. The next part is will be the Google text page one three six, or one page one three five one three six. Say summary ah, okay. Say summary kepada kamu, okay. Apa yang dia kena tahu? Apa yang you kena tahu, okay? So you akan belajar graph the arah. Dan graph theta the arah. Tak terarah, okay? Apa itu bukan terarah lah, yang terarah, okay? So, oh, we call it a direct graph and indirect graph. Direct graph. Direct graph. And indirect or indirect? Yeah. Give you indirect, okay? Indirect. Indirect graph. Okay, what is the meaning? Ah, uh? yang ada direction lah. Uh. Kalau ikut ikut ini ada arah punya. What is the mean by direct graph? Uh? Ada arah. Graph yang ada arah. Direct lah. Uh, ada direction punya. Okay, ada direction punya. Ini kita ada direction. Yang tak lah, uh, direct lah. Uh. Pemandangnya, ah, uh, I don't show you away or not? Ah, uh? tak tahu you ah uh, kesan tak tahu you. Macam you jalan di jalan raya, ada jalan raya lah. 
You nak pergi sini atau pergi sini pun boleh A, A pergi ke B, B ke E ke A pun boleh Ada yang jalan raya, ada one way saja. From mana you go straight saja. You cannot come back one, you come back you need to go another way So, kalau jalan raya yang macam mana pergi pun boleh Kita panggil yo, graph tak ada, tak ada spesifik alat Okay, tak ada spesifik alat Macam tuition center lah Depan kita tuition center, kita kena, kena uh, Kalau keluar tuition center, you kena berok kanan Betul tak? Situ ada satu arah punya Tapi dalam perumahan kamu, biasanya lah Graf tak ada arah antara graf Pulkar kan perumahan, you want to go which way you can Alright So graf here Yang tadi yang kita belajar semua, what we learn uh, uh, Last week and also just now All is graf tak ada arah Yang tadi kita buat latihan semua lah Semua graf itu ialah graf tak ada arah Graf ke arah, or we call direct graf You be like this, okay? You listen here. Yeah. Graph the arah is, let's say yeah, I go A, go B, go C, go, go back to it, okay? Ini ialah graph yang jenis terarah. Kalau graph yang tak terarah, ialah dia macam ni. Tengok beza tak? Okay, you see the difference lah. This is direct graph lah, direct or to arah. It means tidak tak ada. So, beza dia ialah simbol ni. Can you see the simbol? Ada arah. Ini tak ada arah, so we call tak ada arah. So, ada satu beza lagi ialah degree dia. Kalau degree dia, kalau degree untuk A, contohnya lah, saya tulis B, A, dia macam mana kita kira tadi? Just now is we do a lot. Circle, then you see touch how many point Kita letak satu circle, lepas kita tengok dia sentuh berapa kali Di sini sentuh dua kali Alright E, B, sentuh dua kali Ada ingat, D, C pun sentuh dua kali D, C pun sentuh dua kali Okay, dua circle here, it touch two point Tapi di sini, bukan lah This one different a bit Ah, Okay, this one can't boleh, this a new thing Kalau D, A D A ini kita kena tulis D A in, okay? You see your Google text. <coughs> Sorry, I'm supposed to be D in here. Saya tulis salah. D in A. Ini satu lagi D out A. Lepas tu. Kita tengok, kalau untuk A, kita kena tulis di in and di out In ialah masuk, out ialah keluar So, in A, berapa yang masuk A? You go inside, you see the A1, ini pergi ke dalam So, satu Jawapan di in A, satu Di in, di out A berapa? Satu juga Tapi kalau di in B berapa? Ah, different in here, D in B dua dua anak panas ke dalam Do in A, D in B dua Inside go, inside B ada dua D out <coughs> B Ada tak? Keluar dari B B sini ya Tak ada yang keluar kan? No come out, okay so zero Nothing come out from B ya So D out B, zero C ya, kalau C punya Boleh nampak lagi ya, boleh, ok D in C Go inside C No, zero ha C keluar saja So zero Satu lagi D Out C Dua, dia keluar dua We go out from C Ok Ok, understand atau no? If understand, comment, understand ah, ha? Ok I understand. If not understand, I explain again. D in and D out only lah. Then yang you baca buku teks benda ini penting saja. Okay, I understand ah, understand ah. Okay, boleh ya. Senang saja. Terarah dan ter terarah dia nampak macam complicated. Dia tak tahu D in D out saja. So class, saya tanya kamu. Yang tadi punya, kalau dia tanya jumlah degree Jumlah degree Untuk graf ini Berapa? 
So degree dia you kena tambahkan semua semua ingat kau you tambahkan semua. Satu tambah satu tambah dua tambah dua. Tu so, jumlah dia ialah enam untuk graf ini. Oh this time graf dia ada enam. You tambahkan semua, okay? Sama dengan ini ya, you tambahkan di jumlah degree you tambahkan semua di. Tapi ini tak ada ini now, alright? Okay, let's go for the contoh. We go for the contoh, 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 contoh. Sekejap, I share screen dulu. Contoh tujuh ah, question number seven. Eh, this kind number seven si ah, you understand what he he ask you to do or not? Okay. Question number seven. Okay. Ah, contoh tujuh. Lukis graf terarah. Draw the direct graf. Mengikut maklumat yang dibagikan. Okay. So how we do? Okay. Tujuh A. Tujuh A ya, okay. You see, you see how I do first ah. You see how I do first. Okay, no worry. Bentuk ini tak susah. Tak ada macam algebra. No, no algebra. Tambah x, x, y, y semua tak ada. Langsung tak ada. Dia nak you punya pemahaman saja. Understand only. You understand you can do already. Okay. First, nombor tujuh ini dia bagi b. B ya lah apa? Betis. Bucu ah. Dia ada bucu ada b q r s t u. So P Q R S T U, you can write first lah. P Q. Maybe I arrange this way. R S T U. Okay. Kenapa saya lukis macam ni? Sebab dia senang untuk connect. Apabila saya lukis macam ni, macam satu otagon lah. You know otagon? Otagon is like this lah. Macam satu otagon lah, dia punya bucu kalau ada enam lah. The reason is, kenapa saya lukis macam ni? The reason is, sebab kalau saya di sini, saya boleh connect kepada mana-mana. Betul tak? Kalau di sini, saya boleh connect kepada mana-mana. So, cikgu cadang di sini, dia suruh kamu lukis lah. Dia bagi berapa point pun, you arrange dalam satu uh, pentagon, eh, satu oktagon atau uh, uh, hexagon macam ni. Macam satu bulatan lah, you arrange the point. Then bulatan itu dia senang untuk connect kepada point lain. Okay? You, you draw like this, huh? easy for you to connect to other point. Kalau you lukis macam P, Q, semua satu baris, huh? ada problem huh? kalau you lukis R, S, T, U. Kalau lukis, semua lukis ini ada problem sebab T nak pergi P, dia kena berok. Dia tak boleh direct. Okay? So, I prefer you to do it as a macam satu shape pentagon punya bucu lah atau hexagon punya bucu. Okay. So I draw again. P Q R S T U P Q R S T Senang untuk kita connect lah. Okay so first P kepada Q. Kita ikut dia P kepada Q. Tulis arah. Lukis arah, okay? P kepada Q. Sebab sini ialah graf terarah. Direct ah. P kepada Q. Sekarang you need to plus this one. It's simple graph no need ah. Just now we do is uh, tak ada arah, no need. Okay, this is the new thing. P kepada R. Okay, R kepada Q. 
So so much I do here already. Ask about the R. Ask about the Q. As you draw to the Q. Ask about the T. Hey. Yeah. Uh, ask about the T. Ini jawaban dia, okay? You di sini, you di sini ya. Tapi ya join apa apa, tapi ya join apa apa sebab dia tak ada connection. So you ini kita panggil dia macam satu uh, kampung ah. Yang kita tak boleh masuk punya. Kita tak ada jalan masuk. Mungkin kita guna Sebab yang semua ini, yang langkah-langkah ini, so all, all this we, we, we got connection macam train punya connection atau jalan layar punya connection. So ini tak boleh ya. So kalau kita nak pergi ke tempat you, kena guna cara yang luar biasa. If you want to go to you, uh, must go just uh, not the same way if you go in this map. Okay? This one we interpret like you. So you dalam, you punya buku text, you highlight this word lah. Buju terpencil. Okay? Buju terpencil. Can you see this word? Or we, we call it English. English one we call what? English one. Wait, I see the English textbook. Text Forget the name already. But there is a name there. La. English punya ya la. <coughs> One, three. Ah, uh, we call isolated vertex. Okay. This one we call isolated. Means you, you very isolated. Like you very alone. You very lonely here. Like okay, isolated. Okay. Ah. Uh. So, we go for the second part. Second part is here. Ulkis graph the ara mempunyai satu gerung. You got one root pada bucu Q dan AS ialah berbilangan tapi multiple H. <coughs> AS ialah multiple H. Ah. AS is multiple H. Dengan keadaan, he give you this thing. Okay, don't look at the answer first. Ah. If you give you this, how to do? Okay, I tell you. Ah. Yang paling hmm. penting, dia, dia ada bagi maklumat semua kan. Yang ini, tiga maklumat ini penting. Ah. Saya highlight kan. Graph the arah, okay. Direct graph, gelung and gelung on Q and RS is berbilang tepi. So this is a group. Ah. And this is a multiple H on RS. Lukiskan yang root atau gelung dulu dan juga berbilangan tepi dulu. Yang lain kita forget about it first. Okay. Kalau untuk soalan B, di give the syarat, kita lukiskan syarat dulu. Okay. So, di sini ada bagi uh, PQRS. Uh. PQRS, I will do like this. Uh. P, Q, R, S. You lukis buju macam kalau empat you lukis square lah. Kalau lima pentagon punya buju. Kalau dia bagi enam uh, hexagon. Tujuh hexagon. Okay. Senang untuk you connect. You nak pergi mana pun boleh. Alright. This is the tips lah. Yang saya bagi lah. Okay. Okay. Uh, gelung. Kita buat gelung dua rup. Rup on Q. Q gelung. Like this lah. RS ialah berbilangan tepi. RS berbilangan tepi. Like this and like this. Okay. So do these two first. Sudah buat dua ini. Baru kita buat lain. Okay. Baru kita buat lain. Okay. We look at the number one. Uh. Number one got the uh, in P. Okay. Sudah buat dua ini. Uh, saya nak bagi tahu ialah you tukar nilai di situ. Sebab Q di sini. <coughs> Q inside here. Q, Q ada berapa yang ke dalam. Okay. Biasanya kalau kita nak lukiskan anak panah dekat Q, dia ialah satu keluar, satu masuk. 
untuk Q. So, bermaknanya Q dia tinggal berapa? We, we see the Q, ah. the Q is here. Q in is 3, out is 2. But since we got look, ah, sebab kita ada gelung di sini. So, gelung ini akan tukar nilai ini. Nilai ini sekarang, sebab you sudah lukis gelung, so kita akan reduce. Sekarang in kita nak lukis dua lagi. Out kita nak lukis satu lagi. Reduce by one. Sebab already got one in and one out. Satu out, satu in. Dekat gelung itu, dekat uh, itu root. At Q we got root, so we will minus one at here. One in, one out. Because already draw mah, then you need to modify the value. SR, okay, SR, kita tengok SR yang apa nilai dia bagi, SR. In R tak ada. Tak ada yang bagi in lah. So, bermaknanya dua-duanya, dia ialah keluar dari R. Faham tak? Kita tengok dari sini. Tak ada yang masuk R. So, we have to do both also outside. Outside of R. Semuanya keluar dari A. So, kalau sudah ada keluar dari A, uh, so S ini ada masuk 2. S ada masuk 2. So, ini kena tukar nilai. Jadi, 1. You have to modify this value first. Huh? Lepas you lukis loop dan uh, multiple edge, ubah nilai ini dulu. Lepas ubah, baru kita buat. Baru jadi senang. Kita tengok sekarang. Okay. Uh, nak buat you senang je lah One in, you go one out Satu line yang simple Kita lukis satu line yang kali lurus One in to one out Okay Saya bagi contoh uh, Sorry, tadi tadi yang A ini dia keluar dua kan So ini pun kena ubah, ini jadi dua Jadi satu Okay One more time lah, yang gelong ini Kenapa tiga jadi satu? Sebab ada sudah ada dua in. Kenapa tiga jadi satu? Sebab ada sudah ada dua out. Sampai sini, siapa ada soalan? Who got question? Ah, so you won't hear, okay? You let me know, ah. Understand, I change this value first. After you draw this, you change the value of this one first. Okay? Lepas tu baru you continue. Yang ini ialah tinggal punya nilai kan? Tinggal punya nilai ialah garisan yang kita kena lukis selain daripada loop dengan selain daripada dua ini. This the value ini draw. So kita tengok one in and one out kita draw one line. Senang saja. Kerja yang seterusnya sangat senang. One in one out draw one line. Okay, I use this one ah. This one one p p in is one p out is one. So saya 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 batalkan jadi kosong. Okay. Saya jadi kosong ah. One in one out satu line. Okay, tadi saya ialah tukar ini kepada kosong, tukar satu ini kepada kosong. Kenapa? Sebab dia keluar dari Q ke P. One in one out satu line. Q keluar dari Q. So sekarang Q sudah jadi kosong, out Q sudah jadi kosong. Then in Okay. In for the P. So, jadi kosong. Sebab I. Lepas tu kita tengok uh, S. Uh. Tengok S in R out. Ini saya lukis satu garisan. S in R out. Satu garisan. S in pergi ke dalam in R out. Uh, berbilang tepi dia. Okay. We we Sebab R dan S sudah ada berbilang tepi, so kita jangan kacau itu lagi lah, okay? You, you can do it R, S, tapi saya prefer kepada point lain. So, we take line, in, dengan out. P, S lah. One in, one out ah, satu line. One in, one out, satu line. So, in kepada S, out dari P. So, ini akan jadi kosong. In, saya sudah lukis, in S, dan out P. So, Tinggal lagi uh, out S in Q. Out S in Q. How I do what? Out S. Out S ada sini mah. In Q ada dua. So, so saya, saya tolak satu nilai dari sini. 
out R in Q. So ini akan jadi kosong, ini akan jadi satu. In Q akan jadi satu. Then last kali, tengok mana ada uh, satu satu punya. Ah ada. In Q out S. In Q out S. So ini semua jadi kosong. Kalau you buat sudah semua jadi kosong, you punya graf sepatutnya complete. Faham tak? Buat systematic supaya dia jadi semua kosong. Alright? You lukis satu, mesti ada satu in, satu out, mari tensor, kurangkan nilai lah. In sudah jadi kurang, out pun akan jadi kurang. Lukis, 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 sampai akhir dia, dia akan lengkap satu graf. Okay? <coughs> Ada soalan tak? Ah, uh, mau saya bincang lagi lah soalan ini. So, I ulang sekali lagi ya. Macam soalan yang ini macam nak buat lah. How we tackle this kind of question? He ask you about, uh, he ask you about do the direct graph, then got root and also multiple edge. Okay, lukis kan graph the arah ada gelung dan berbilangan tepi. So first thing ya lah, kita lukis kan gelung dan berbilangan tepi dulu. Okay, first thing I do is I draw gelung and berbilangan tepi, the 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 root and multiple edge. Lepas saya lukis, saya kurangkan nilai dia, saya kurangkan nilai dia. Lepas tu yang one in one out, saya gunakan garis simple. One in one out, saya I minus the value. Okay, I minus the value mana minus until the end all get zero already. All get zero already. See all this I highlight one all get zero already. Then automatic is your graph. Okay. Mungkin tak faham lah. Mungkin ada yang tak faham. I sure some of you sure don't understand lah. Okay. Tapi tak apa. Next week saya akan bincang jenis soalan ini lagi. Uh, you can try the exercise first. No harm. Exercise 5.1b. Soalan 3. Tiga A, tiga B, tiga tiga A. Di soalan tiga lah. This one you try first. Nah, this one. Next week, for the first 15 minutes, saya akan bincang soalan ini. Then saya akan ulang kaji ini lagi. If you okay, then we go for the second part. Okay ya. Yeah? Tapi ada soalan tak? So far, this one you don't understand why I do like that. Tak ada soalan? Atau malu nak tanya? Atau you sudah mau tunggu kelas habis? <laughs> okay, so now my, you go back to revision first or you try to draw one more time for the 7B, then you will understand. Okay? I explain again, my, then you try lah, okay? So next week we will continue again. Okay? So if no problem, kalau tak ada masalah, see you again. Alright, thank you class. Now you all can bye bye, yeah. Uh, you can. Okay, good night. Bye bye.